Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at creating a data analysis plan. Let's start by looking at the definitions. A data analysis plan is about putting thoughts into a plan of action. Having a clear plan of action is also important for research integrity and quality. Data analysis plan guards against data-driven results and allows analysis to be reproduced. The data analysis plan should build on research protocol and is typically written after the protocol has been developed and before commencing any statistical analysis. A data analysis plan provides a map of your planned analysis and developing this map can assist you to work through step by step important pieces of information without getting lost. It can help you to visualize the outcomes of your study, what is the main picture you are trying to convey. What are the main figures or tables that illustrate your outcome? These questions should be clearly addressed in your plan. There are four main components of a data analysis plan. These include background, aims, methods, and planned tables and figures. We will look at each one of these in the following slides. Let's start with the background. The background should present an overview of the relevant literature and clear rationale for study. The rationale should justify your research question and your choice of analysis. When deciding on your approach to the analysis, it is important to look at what has been done in other studies. Aims. The study aims and research questions need to be clearly defined and translated into testable hypotheses. The hypotheses are the bridge between the ideas and the data. Data will be able to confirm or refute a hypothesis. Planned tables and figures, also called dummy tables, are basically an outline of a table or figure which will be used to present the results. The dummy table has empty cells which are to be populated after data analysis. The planned tables and figures bring into focus what you are doing and how you will display your results. Planned tables and figures can also be a useful talking point for discussing the analysis with collaborators and allow for refinement of your research intentions. Further. The planned tables and figures can be copied directly into the results section of a paper or chapter and the cells populated after analysis. Table shells to prepare for include univariable analysis, bivariable analysis, calculating measures of association, and assessing for confounding and effect measure modification. Thank you.